So what's up guys, welcome back to another video, my name is Chris, this is my channel called Mumble. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about how much I'm actually making off YouTube. So if this is a topic that you're interested in, stay tuned, because it's coming up. They want the best of me now. know that I'm a very small channel right now. I have about 120 videos already uploaded to YouTube. I did stop getting monetized for a while due to the fact that I was not in that threshold of 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers. So I barely got them back in December. I got monetized once again. And I'm happy that I did because now I'm seeing that my work is actually starting to get paid off. Currently, am I at a win ratio? No, I'm not. I'm still losing because think about all the equipment that I had to buy. Think about the shows that I had to go to. Uh, shows that I would still have gone to, but there's a couple of them that I went out of town just so I could get content. It was a matter of fact of just having fun and getting out there, you know, experience new things, see a whole new car scene and stuff like that. It was well worth it in my opinion. This is something that you just have to deal with when you're doing YouTube. You're not going to get money right off the bat. Even if you are getting money, it's nothing drastic where it's life changing. I'm going to show you guys my last five videos of how well they've done. So I'm basically making about anywhere from 80 cents. To about a dollar ten on average there are days when i barely get any views the thing you have to realize guys is that not every view is going to be monetized that's one thing that you got to remember that when i upload a brand new video my monetization just spikes up especially if it's a blog style video like this if it's something more where like i've done a couple fortnite videos i do them just because of the fact that i enjoy doing them and they're fun to me i'm trying to do gaming more as just you know funny montage clips I'm not here to commentate on anything. So before we move on, guys, I do want to give a shout out to this guy named Jay. He has a channel called Sonky, Sonke, whatever you want to call it, works. I will link to his channel down below. So make sure you check out his content. He does have an accord. It's a spoon-inspired accord. He's trying to get more motivation to make more videos. Let's go ahead and help this guy hit at least 100 subscribers. Now I can get a couple of y'all to just go out there, subscribe to him, because getting that first 100 subscribers is one of the hardest things that I ever had to deal with. It literally took me about three months. Remember that last vlog? Uh, coffee on the top of my roof. So we're gonna wash that. If anybody remembers, I had a wrap done to the trim right here. And guess what? Look at this. It's starting to come off. That is bad, guys. I need to redo it. I'm not even sure why they used two pieces right here. Like, there's a little small piece right here. Look. They put a piece right here and then they put this right here. Like, I don't understand why they didn't just do one whole piece. I've seen it done before. It's the same concept on this side. Look at this. A lot of y'all really ain't feeling this wheel. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do just yet, so just bear with me. On Instagram knows that this is the spot where I took one of my good pictures with the uh, G20, which is right here in front of those buildings back there. So might have to do it with this car sometime soon, but there's no sun out right now, so I'm not feeling it too much. Let's go ahead and get into this video, guys. A lot of you guys wanna know how much I'm actually making off this channel. One of the things that I've noticed is that if you comment a lot more on people's videos, there's a lot more exposure to you. You get noticed a lot more because sometimes people want to know what's in the comment section. And you might say something that catches their attention. They might want to go ahead and check you out. Maybe you got some YouTube content that they're interested in. So that's one of the things that's helped me grow this channel a lot. Recently, I haven't been commenting a lot on anybody's video. It's just the lack of just motivation of watching YouTube lately. And making videos is hard enough. You literally have to come up with an idea, make videos, and put them out there. You think about that concept. I got to go out there, plan the video, record it. Go back home, edit it, spend maybe another hour or two editing it. And sometimes it even takes longer because you go back and back and back and try to see if things make sense the way you said it. I've literally had times when I have to record the video a whole nother time because I didn't like the way the flow of it was. And the way I'm a perfectionist and by no means are my videos perfect in any way, I know there's a lot of ways for me to improve them. Enough chit chat, let's go ahead and get into this. So the total amount of revenue that I gained in the last 28 days was $29.36. That comes out to about a dollar something a day, right? So not a bad number, right? I'm getting a dollar a day for just people viewing my videos once again, once again. That's without me uploading anything. When I upload, that spike up goes to about maybe a dollar or two. So when I post a new video, that's when I see my views go up. It also depends on the time frame that I post them up. So the one video that you guys are not really watching are these Fortnite montages. I do spend a lot of time editing them. And going through so much footage that it literally takes days for me to cut down on the footage. Happy to do this because it brings back memories of gameplays that I have with my cousins. So the last video that I posted, which was a Fortnite montage, got 
40 views up to this day. So this video was posted six days ago and 40 views, right? In that time, I got a total of 39 cents, guys. Now think about it. Is it worth it spending all that time and effort editing this video? No. You're going to say, what? No. Well, it's a lot of time because I literally have to go through almost 10 hours of footage sometimes to find the best clips that I can use. I don't want to upload just pure gameplay of chopping down trees. That, that's boring to me. I instead find those nice little small clips where we have a good time, we have fun, we're talking SHIT. I'd rather upload that kind of stuff because maybe you see my video and it brings you some sense of humor to it. Well, I got 39 cents for basically 40 views. That's basically about a cent a view. Right? On, on average, my other Fortnite videos that have 100 views, the most that I've gotten on one of those is 6 cents. So the Duckbill spoiler video I posted about 11 days ago, right? So on that video, I think I have about 300 views already. This video up to now has a total of a dollar and five cents. A dollar and five cents. Compared to the Fortnite video, the Fortnite video should be bringing in more money than this, right? Let's move on to the next one. The next video I posted was 15 days ago. This was the one talking about the eBay front whip. So this video got about 270 views and I got a total of a dollar thirty-nine cents. A lot higher than the other one that had 300 views, right? So I did test fed the Koenig wheels a while back. This was 21 days ago. I got a total of $121. The next video I want to talk to you guys about is the R1 concept breaks. This video got about 164 views and I earned 70 cents. So altogether, these, these five videos have made me $4.67 up to now. And that's brand new videos that I've uploaded. This is considering that I go out there, I record videos, I edit them, I sit down, I think about ideas, think about all the work that you're putting into this to just get $4.67. It feels like I should just get a part-time job at this point. But this is something that I love doing. I love talking to you guys. I love interacting with y'all. Um, sometimes y'all say things that make me overthink what I'm doing. So I don't mind doing this. Uh, I would still be modifying this car if it wasn't for YouTube. i just rather record it and see what I get out of it because I'd rather take a shot at something than not try anything at all. I thought about doing this thing back when I had my Scion TC. And that was about 2007. That's a long time about 12 years I could have had so much content so many videos by now I've owned about eight or nine cars from that time I could have had content with so many various chassis I, my subscriber count could have been way higher than what it is now so this is why I still keep doing this I keep trying to get higher and higher because I know I started from zero and right now I'm at 1200 subscribers I, I've seen the growth happen and I just wanted to see it happen a lot more I still get paranoid when people walk right behind me or walk around my car and keep looking at me while I'm blogging. It's something I have to overcome still. So a lot of you guys might be wondering, so where's the rest of this money coming if it's only $4.60 something cents? Well, the rest of my videos that are still monetized, my old videos, those are still making me money. The five exhaust videos for the G37 under $1,000 has made me $2.83. Should you buy a G37 has made me $2.26. The manual or auto G37 video has made me $1.83. The arc rip exhaust video has made me $1.45. Who knows, maybe one day my channel will blow up and I will get somewhere up there to where I'll be making enough to just get like $100 every month. YouTube doesn't pay you until you hit that $100 mark. So right now I'm about to get my second paycheck from YouTube this coming up month. So I hope this video was very helpful to you as to how much people are making on YouTube, especially with my subscriber count. My niche is cars, somewhat gaming or car shows if you think about it that way. This is how much I'm making every month in revenue. It's not a lot, it's barely 30 bucks. I'm barely breaking 30 bucks right now. And there's months when I'm hitting barely $24. So that means in order for me to get a paycheck, I might have to wait a total of three to four months to get just over $100. So just keep that in mind and I know it's frustrating sometimes because you put in so much work and you look at somebody else's video who has higher subscribers or more subscribers than you but they're crushing it for some reason. You just got to improve yourself, improve your channel and try different things. I have thought about going and doing some more personal style blogs but that's still an idea I'm playing with because I don't want to put too much of my personal life out there. A lot of you guys are saying why do I always record inside my car? Well, I don't have a wind muff. My camera does not support an external mic. So that's something I have to upgrade to. With that being said, I hope you do like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and believe. Know what I want, so I'll take it on. I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong. 
Let's break it down for a minute I want the crown, I'm gon' get it You hear me loud, man, I'm winning Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be grinning These ladies know that I'm sitting And this is just the beginning I'm closing in and I'm getting There ain't no point in resisting Living life like a dream,